Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing a selection from a brewery that I've had uh, only a few times previously, and I think they're, they're a fairly small brewery, uh, the Death Valley, um, I'm sorry, the Indian Wells uh, Brewing Company uh, has produced a, a beer that I saw uh, for a buck ninety-nine uh, for a 12 ounce bottle at total and thought, okay, let's give this one a shot. And this, today's selection is the Death Valley Pale Ale from Indian Wells Brewing Company. And there's their, there's the label. There's, there's the old boy sitting out there on the chair, giving the thumbs up to people driving by. That's what you see in Death Valley. You see a lot of old men sitting out on porches, giving thumbs up or waving as you drive by. Uh, I can attest to that. Now, uh, pale ales. Uh, normally come in around 4.5 to 6.2 ABV. This is a 4.7, so it's on the very low end of, uh, of the ABV scale for pale ales. Pale ales are known for having medium um, mouthfeel and medium carbonation. Uh, their color is usually pale to light amber. Um, they're known for being biscuity, sometimes even fruity. Fruit esters so usually appear more in the uh, bouquet than they do the flavor. Flavor usually comes through more biscuity, bready, um, like that. Sometimes even a little caramel uh, can come through in both color and flavor. Um, now I did go to uh, Untapped and discovered that four of my friends have given this beer a cumulative score of 3.31. Don't know how that's going to do, but we'll see. And uh, only 3,100 of us have given a, a score of uh, a cumulative score of 3.22. So, um, as you can see, not particularly high scores. <coughs> Man, not partic not too many scores. Uh, I don't think that I really don't think that this this uh, outfit gets much distribution. I think really you're kind of loath to find us most anywhere outside Southern California, Southern Nevada. Uh, sort of uh, range. Um, so I, uh, I, oh, and that I did want to check to see uh, their previous uh, beers that I have tried before are their Mojave Red. I gave it a 3.75, and the Orange Blossom Amber, which I gave a 3.25. So admittedly, I haven't been really um, blown away by this particular brewery, but you know what the hell. So going to be using my St. Archer pine, uh, pint glass that my man Steve at Total Wine gave me for a wedding gift. And let's crack this bad boy open. There we go. Alright, right off the top. Hmm, very alcohol smelling. Considering, and that's very strange considering we're only looking at a 4.7 ABV. Yeah, mostly alcohol and a little bit of fruit behind that. So let's get it into the glass. Let's get some air on it. Let's see how this looks. Okay, this is turning out to be very, very amber. Very amber in color. Uh, I don't see too many pale ales that, that uh, well, almost rust colored, uh, really. I, I'm a little surprised by this because uh, ales are not usually, well, they don't usually have that much color in them. Um, now there is that uh, uh, foamy head that is rather persistent that pales are known for, um, but it's not quite as, as white as you would expect a pale ale's foam to be. This is more of a, a, a tan. Um, okay, now I'm getting a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit. A little bit of uh, yeast behind the fruit, mostly fruit esters though. Uh, hmm. Well, I, I see no point in discussing further. Let's just dig in and start drinking, shall we? Cheers. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's got a dry, malty finish. A um, little bit of caramely sweetness. You know, I, I think uh, I think everybody else is being kind of unfair to this beer, quite frankly. That is a medium mouthfeel. Now it's a little, little lower carbonation than I was expecting, and uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, as, as I'm sorry, uh, medium mouthfeel, lower carbonation, um, slight alcohol burn. Actually, more alcohol burn than I was expecting for a 4.7 ABV. I gotta say, I've had 
ABVs of 8.2 and higher that didn't have quite as much alcohol burn as this. So that's that's a little surprising. <clears throat> it's difficult to, to uh, discern what's fruit in specific. Um, but I'm going to go with sort of a, an apple plum combination is what I'm going to go with here in terms of its flavor. It's uh, got an apple -y plum <clears throat> with just a little bit of caramel uh, notes. Um, this is actually pretty good. In fact, i got to say this is the best beer that I've had from Indian Wells. I think I'm going to give this a 4.0 because um, I know this is better than the Mojave Red that I had from them. But... Uh, let me see where exactly they are. They are in in Yokern, California. Don't know where that is. I gotta assume that's some little road stop in the middle of Death Valley. But uh, anyway, there it is. There's the, the label again. There's the drawing. As you can tell from the label, I think I, I don't think they're a particularly large outfit. But I gotta say, I'm glad to see that uh, as I drink more of their beers, I'm liking them better. So, um, especially since they seem to be a, a Southern California, Southern Nevada sort of uh, outfit. <coughs> so until next time, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.